everyone welcome back to my channel step campus this is lecture 9 we are learning selenium from scratch so in this video we are going to learn about how to invoke a browser okay the browser and also we are going to see for chrome browser edge and fire okay, so mostly we are going to see this three browser now so how to start so for this one like we have to go to first our ide and then we have to check like whether the selenium dependency is there or not so if this is dependency not installed in your chrome.xml file then uh, you have to see the previous video okay. so in the lecture 8 i have already shown all the details to you like how to create a java to maven project and how can you add the dependency as well okay so now what we have to do so this is the project name then i will click on this project name and then in this src uh, folder create one package we'll create one package and the package name will be we can give anything we will give like selenium and inside this package inside this package i'm going to create one class and the class name will be okay class name will be invoke now you can see so they are saying like this package name is discard it means like the class name you can uh, like give a capital letter okay so you have to write in a camel case letter so i should be uh, small so in work and browser we can we can give as a capital okay in work browser so these three details you have to know because when you, once you work in a real time in a company so these details they are looking very uh, we can say close so you have to be aware about these things as well now we will click on this public static void main also so we required a main method where we can run our test case okay now okay fine so we will remove this comment now what we will do so first we have to understand like uh, how we can invoke the browser okay so before this one uh, like we will see so uh, there is one dependency also there for web driver uh, web driver manager but yeah that one i am not going to tell you as of now normally we will start okay so we will, we have to write like driver driver uh, we will give web driver web driver see web driver is a interface okay so this is a interface and we are going to create object of this interface okay, web driver driver equals to new okay and then we will use Chrome driver, Chrome driver. Okay. So this web driver you have to import, and this Chrome driver also you have to import. See what I have written first line. So I have written web driver, driver. So driver is nothing, just a object. So why we are writing driver now? So because as I already told you, like how the Selenium interact arch in architecture video I have shown you right. So Uh, the drive uh, like browser uh, uh, whatever the command we are writing in the language binding so it will first go reach to the driver okay driver not the actual browser it will go to the drivers and then the drivers will help us to communicate with the actual browsers okay so that's why we are writing as a driver as a common global uh, we can say uh, it's a it's a global keyword we are saying so not even variable the global variable we are saying like this is applicable for all the browsers so driver writing is like we are saying like whatever do we whatever we will write a script so we are assigning it to the driver okay, so we can uh, relate like this so web driver driver equals to new chrome driver so we are creating a chrome driver so this syntax you already know if you are aware about the java syntax okay so this new uh, is used for uh, creating instance so we are creating one instance for this interface sorry for this uh, class this is chrome driver okay so we are creating a object of this chrome driver class and we are using this web driver interface see so we are taking a web driver we can choose here chrome driver as well uh, i will show you how to write we can write like this way as well okay instead of web driver we can give chrome driver because you know like uh, we can create a object of class as well right yeah so we can create like this also but the issue is this like if we want consider this web driver na so this driver instance will be applicable for the chrome related option only okay so whatever the method defined in the chrome so that will be applicable to driver rest standard method we can't call uh, we using this driver method okay so
so that's why we are not using this chrome driver because chrome driver is specific to the chrome driver but if our requirement like we want to open our website in different different browsers suppose they ask us to uh, open in a firefox so this will lead to some issue we will leave it as okay because this is only for, we are saying like we have created an instance for the chrome driver only so for chrome it will work fine but for the other uh, browsers it will not work as per the expected so that's why we are not hard coding it as a chrome browser instead of we are using the first line that is web driver so web driver we are taking and then we are creating a class for the chrome driver same we can create a class for the firefox same for the as like this way we can create okay because in web driver so uh, the object will be like uh, we can say the method will be abstract only okay now uh, remove this line okay now what to do so the first matter like in any project if you want to test any website okay so the first command you will write is driver dot get so get will take a string url okay it will take a string url okay so driver dot get and inside this one inside this one we have uh, we have to send our url in double quotes so i am writing https I am taking this uh, website. Uh, sorry, yeah, website is of now. Okay. So control S, save it, and right click and run a Java application. So we will see like it is opening the browser. Okay. Yeah. So now we can see here it has opened the browser. Okay. We have some issue. Whatever. HTTPS. Okay. Uh, we have to write form and then we have given down. Okay. Okay, this is the issue. Now run it again. Okay, now we can see here. So Google is open. Right? See, we have written HTTPS. So whatever the URL you are sending here, you have to send the complete part of the URL. Like if I run like this here, just see one scenario. If I cut down this one, okay, and just give it www.google.com. Let's see what happens. So we will get some exception. We will see like what is this exception. Yeah, now we can see it. So it is saying invalid argument exception. Okay, so saying like this is the invalid argument. We can't pass. And also it is suggesting like get URL equals to we are sending this one, right? So uh, we can see here like in which line this is showing there as the error. So it is saying uh, URL we are sending like this way, but this is not a correct syntax or not a uh, proper syntax for for the URL. So what we have to write, we have to give the complete path like HTTPS colon 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 and then uh, backward slash like this way convert to this. Okay. So now we have seen like this has opened in a Chrome driver. Right here, for Chrome driver. Okay. Now for uh, we will see Firefox first. Okay, Firefox. Okay, so I will copy this. Cut, cut. Uh, now let let me copy this one. Okay, and then I will send you in the note so that you can relate from there as well. Okay? So this is the for the web uh, for the Chrome. Now we will see for the Firefox first, and then for the other. Okay, uh, go again there. Now uh, let me comment on this one. Okay? So same thing we will copy. This line we will copy. Okay. Instead of this Chrome driver, now we will uh, make a class of. Uh, we will use a class of uh, Firefox. Okay, Firefox. Firefox drive. Okay, Firefox driver, and then we have to import this library. So once you hover there, okay, you will. Uh, oops, my bad. Okay, now you can see here we have option to click on this one. Okay. So we have imported the Firefox driver as well. Okay, and now in this line showing it's an unused import. Okay, we can see this import is never used, so we can comment up also, or we can leave that as well as not an issue. Now save it. Okay, and then again this function we have to use. So this will be common for all driver dot get. Okay, and then we have pass this here uh, URL. Now right click on this one. So this time it should open. Uh, it should open our uh, uh, Firefox. Okay. So it will take time because uh, we are not uh, regularly using it, so it will take some time. Now you can see here. So Firefox is open in front of us. 
Okay, so it might will take some time because if you are not using Firefox regularly, so it will take time to uh, call it. Okay. Okay, fine. Now we will see for the S browser. So let me copy this one as well. This is for our learning. Uh, we can say uh, notes. Okay. This is well. Now for the edge, we will see. Now we can see for the edge. Okay, I am removing from here. No need to write comment multiple times. Okay. Now for edge. Okay. So web driver. Web driver. Driver equals to edge driver. Okay. And then driver dot get. And then again we have to use our URL. Either you can write from your end or you can copy from the Google version as well. So you like from here you have to okay. So if you go here, if you write here Google, and then if you click on this one, so you can see here. Right? So you can use this one as well. Okay. Dot com or dot co dot in Okay. Now okay, we have to import again. Let's try. Well, let me check it again. Sorry, we forgot to give this new new keyword. We have to give for creating an instance. Okay, now we it will show us. Now you can see here, right? So it is showing as driver. Now we will import this one as well. Okay, so you can see here we have imported the S driver as well. Okay, now we can comment out this one. Okay, now save it and now again run it. It will take some time because we are not using the as also regular, so sometimes it will take time. But now you can see here as browser open in front of us. Okay, so that's all in this video, guys. It's a basic, basic lecture where you have to know like how to interact with the browser first, and then we will go and test in the Selenium, and then we will see more functions. So, yeah, we'll see in the next lecture. Thank you. Bye bye.